Hi, this is Shadi. The Gracie brothers were known to be judokas, especially the first generation, and they knew a lot of stand-up, a lot of group fighting, yet the art, what we now call BJJ, has become mostly a ground grappling game. So the question is, what happened and how did this uh, come to be? We all know that the Gracie brothers were very big on self-defense. They were very big on... Uh, remaining standing up and of course very skilled in Newaza. but how did we come to this where you have people grappling with or without the gi and only on the ground where a lot of them don't even know a takedown and yet they are world champions but from what we see Elio Gracie clearly knew how to throw so I would like to attribute this to one catalyst or event that lasted from 1935 to 1937 and that was the rivalry between Elio and George Gracie against the Ono brothers Yasuichi and Naoichi. So this rivalry was against two very young boys and very light. You had Yasuichi who was in his early 20s and Naoichi who was only 14 years old at the time. Yasuichi being 140 pounds and Naoichi being 125 pounds. So today what we will do is we will be diving into SimonBJJ.com's article. There's a lot many more and they really discuss in detail and the several point of views of each particular incident uh, and all those characters that pioneered what we now call jujitsu. Here you see also the awesome uh, clothing. I will leave a link uh, pinned in the comments. So before we know a little bit about uh, the Ono brothers, their teacher himself was none other than Karemitsu, who really worked and crafted the triangle choke and the knee bar in 1921 and 1922. So they were clearly gifted on the ground, but also in the stand up. So here you see the Ono brothers uh, drilling the triangle choke before their bout with the Gracies. So the first fight was in 1935 it was Elio Gracie versus Yasuichi Ono there's no points uh, there is no winning by the throw so you either draw uh, when the time ends or you win by the submission or the KO so the fight lasted the entire time all five rounds Elio was thrown a total of 32 times every time Elio was thrown he would recover guard but he was not threatening to Elio or Yasuichi I'm sorry according to the witnesses he never was able to sweep him or try to uh, submit him however Yasuichi at one point was very close to getting an arm lock on Elio so first fight ending in a draw later they would rematch almost a year later in 1936 and the fight goes into a draw again Elio was thrown a total of 27 times that's an enormous amount of time so you notice these are fights that would last around the 50 minute mark so that's a long time and then George wanted to fight Yasuichi the first fight Ono was clearly dominant at one point he throws him so hard he stuns him and then sinks in a choke and submitting uh, George Gracie so they decided to rematch again I believe six weeks later and then uh, around the last round and they have decided to add points uh, at that point and so around the last round for unknown reasons Yasuichi punches George and thus losing by a disqualification uh, again till this day the reason why he punched him is unknown but this is the first victory for the Gracie brothers but not to ignore the dominance when it comes to the stand-up so later um, Naoichi wanted to get a taste of those fights so he had to prove himself of course at that time he was I believe around 16 years of age still very light still very young compared to the Gracie brothers 
first he fights elio elio was the better grappler winning by a strangle later he would fight uh, george again for a total of 50 minutes or a little over 50 minutes throwing him well over 20 times or 25 times clearly showing that they are very skilled in the stand-up although they were technically kosen judokas but still the takedown is still very much important till this day they still win sometimes by throws not only just by the ground aspect so this clearly shows uh, something yes the gracie brothers were able to survive they were able to hold their breath they clearly showed endurance however when it comes to the stand-up they had a lot to do so they had two options the first one spend years and years on grip fighting and throws and randori or b change the rules obviously and they decided to go with the latter now don't get me wrong i started late during judo and if there's something that i'm good at i'm gonna of course take advantage of it and that one being is the ground we all have that one technique that we're good at so a lot of my epons me competing were from the ground and uh I'd understand why the Gracies did what they did. However, they did start a chain reaction that led to whatever we have uh, today. So um, you see, you have the throw that did not really matter, although it did show dominance in the stand up. But at the time, it was not really out of uh, uncommon to ask for such rules because A, you had the Ono brothers who did compete in a Kosen format, so they know that taking the fight to the ground and uh, staying there is very much normal to them. And B, just a few decades earlier, meaning the late 1890s or early 1900s, a lot of people were still competing, uh, going by the KO or the submission or verbally saying, I, I forfeit the fight. So, uh, asking for such rules at the time at least it was not really uncommon now sure if today we only have olympic judo let's just say and then someone would say i want uh, rounds like this and the uh, fight uh, only for the ground and the dko only matters and there's a draw if in case we don't win people would be surprised but again if someone who competed in the 2000s and late 90s telling me he wants to fight uh, back uh, with the same rules as he fought in I would it would not really put me off guard so to speak so it was very much the norm a lot of the times with this uh, type of competition however the students and then the students of the students and then generation after generation slowly but surely started to forfeit the takedowns really working the ground uh, guard pulling etc so it started that catalyst to what we have today as BJJ. But we need to always remember the Gracies, how they truly fought standing up, whether it's Kimura, Ono Brothers, uh, Kato, uh, Takeo Yano, all these great judokas, and still they held their ground. So um, that one type of uh, competition and how they really changed the rules in order to hang on and even win or at least not lose uh, it's what led to what we have today so if you have anything to add let me know check out the link in the description below this was shadi and thank you for listening